For documentary filmmakers, this is Carnegie Hall. We feel like we won the lottery twice uh, by being in this film festival. I think what people react most strongly to the, the movie is um, it helps if you come with a very strong preconceived notion of who Mitt Romney is because I think, I think our film sort of puts that on its ear. I don't know about this poster. I, I can't, I'm not sure about this poster. What do you think? Obviously, you wouldn't do this for just anybody, but we got to meet Greg and um, felt comfortable with him. And he said, you know, even if we, we never make a movie out of this, it'd be a wonderful uh, a journal to keep for your family of what your presidential campaign was like. Had I won, uh, I probably would have wanted to exert a lot of editorial uh, input. In this case, not having won, uh, Greg has put together the film. We haven't seen it. My guess is there'll be some scenes that we like and some things we don't like. I, I don't think Sundance is known as an ultra right wing organization. The fact that they would select the film to be shown at Sundance is a great tribute to Greg Whiteley, uh, to his uh, editing effort. It's ladies and gentlemen, the director of MIT, Greg Whiteley. Here's what I learned. I could make, and I'm not exaggerating, I could make a 90 minute film of Mitt Romney turning off lights and picking up garbage. <laughs> I remember hearing Mitt say, and it, I think he was quoting his dad, that uh, it's fairly remarkable the difference that one person can make if that person chooses to. And uh, going through this process, I feel very strongly that we have a very fragile democracy that requires all of us to be engaged. Yeah.